Hello and welcome to Q&A Friday. I am Raghav and you are watching the channel Automation Step by Step. And in today's session of Q&A Friday, I am going to take up a question asked by one of my viewers who wants to keep the name anonymous. So let us look at the question. Hi Raghav, from 2008 June to 2009 August, I worked as a .NET developer. In that period of two months, I also had worked in testing team. Later, because of family, I left job. I prepared for competitive exams, but I did not succeed. I thought it is good to work in testing, so I learned Selenium automation tool since eight months, and I am now searching for a job. Please suggest me how to approach in job hunt in software testing. I am waiting for your valuable reply. Thank you for asking this question. And before I begin to answer this, I just want to let you know some general things. It does not matter when you start or where you start from. The only thing that matters is you have to start and take the first step and then keep moving forward. So in your case, you can do these basic six steps. The first step is you have to create a separate email ID for your job search. This will be a separate email ID from your primary account and you can use this in all the job portals and everywhere related to your job search. So it will be very helpful that you do not clutter your primary email ID and keep all your job related notifications separately. It will be very easy for you to manage it. The second thing is you have to update your resume and you have to add all the skills that you have learned in testing over the last eight months or so and then keep your latest resume updated and then you have to create your profile on the job portals so this is the third step and whatever best job portals are there in your country you have to create your profile add all your skills add your resume and create a very good profile the fourth step is you have to update your profile in linkedin as well because the job recruiters check your profile in linkedin and also you can directly apply for jobs from there so fourth step is you have to keep your profile updated on linkedin and then fifth step is once you start getting notifications and uh, emails related to job you can filter it out and then you can apply it accordingly as per your needs and, and the last thing is you can directly visit the websites of the companies which offer jobs similar to your profile and then you can directly apply on the website so it can make it make the process a little faster and just be confident once you get job calls be uh, prepared for it and give your best shot so that's all you have to do i hope this was useful for you and many others who are in the similar position i will meet you in the next session of q a friday thank you for watching <music>